you for that warm introduction. Let me first welcome the graduating class and our families. Parents, grandparents, and relatives, except for the ones that chose to not give us any graduation money. Loyal friends, except those we owe money to and those who never gave money back, no names. And finally, teachers and administrators who are constantly borrowing money. Please stop. My name is Alexis Lewis and it feels, it feels great to finally be a high school graduate and go embark on the journey of starting college in the fall and hopefully ending with a career. Three things that I wanna to do today in this speech. First, let me start with a short story about my freshman year. Then I wanna thank the parents and the teachers. And then lastly, I wanna establish why all graduates here are pretty much the same. First things first, when I was a high school freshman, I was a shy individual that didn't make friends. I didn't really care to, but I loved art and was always told I was a good dancer. So I did PE dance the first year, which was easy for me. But the year after PE dance, I auditioned for intermediate dance, which was still too easy. Then the dance team I truly wanted to be on, which was called Inertia Dance Company, I didn't make it, but was part, but ended up being in advanced dance instead, which was one step lower than the dance company, but one step higher than intermediate dance class. I remember being really upset that I didn't make the dance company and looking at the audition list. I've always been hard on myself when I knew I could do better. Everybody around me that didn't even make the team at all or any class, they congratulated me. The end, of the, the end of the year ended up being great because of all the friends I made. My point is, don't be hard on yourself because you aimed so high and did as hard as you could. There's always a reason something doesn't go 100% as planned. The second thing I want to do is I want to thank the parents and those dearly beloved teachers. Certainly our parents have a lot to be proud of. Just think parents, in a few months, many of us will be going off to college or getting a job and you'll get exactly what you've been waiting for, to turn that now empty bedroom into a home office. I know some of us drove you nuts and said things we didn't mean, but thank you for being supportive in some way. Oh, and how can I forget those teachers? It's a tough job teaching us life skills that we will need to be successful. First, thank you for teaching me how X and Y equals five, rather than how to do my taxes. Second, telling us to enjoy our weekends and ironically giving loads of homework. And lastly, thank you to the here's the study guide that looks absolutely nothing like the actual test teacher. Ah, yes, those teachers. I could go on and on. Lastly, the reason why all of us are here and why we're the same. One of the things I most admire in this class is how we all came together. Everybody has something in school they related to. For me, I danced. I hung around dancers. I came out of my comfort zone. The main thing high school taught me was that we really aren't all that different. We all want success, but only so many are willing to work for it. Whatever your reason may be, money, knowledge, or respect, it's all about perseverance. We all are capable of having different talents. Remember, achievement becomes your destiny. In conclusion, high school had some ups and downs, but in the end, everything happened for a reason. And look at all of us now. I ended up making a bunch of friends. I also really want to thank the parents and the delightful teachers and the reason why we were all the same. Class of 2013.